Hey guys, we're back with the Faux Fighter Project, and today we're going to take the rest of the cabin giblets out, talk about what we're going to do inside the cabin, and hang on. A little bit windy today, but it's the uh, first day I was able to get in here, so hang on. Here we go. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, kind of clean the rest of the floor out. We're going to take these interior panels off on the front. Interior panels in the rear, uh, armrests, ashtrays, seat belts, and that kind of stuff. Just kind of get the interior of the cabin, get the rest of the stuff out, and hopefully get the interior where we can kind of really start cleaning it and see what we have. Get the rest of the I, the fiberglass and all that. I was not able to get out here. It was blowing a gale all week long. So our plan is... I'm going to get some diddling done on here. We'll talk about what we're going to do on the instrument panel and then the interior. And then next episode, the wings are coming off this thing. It's going in the shop because we're just, we've been dodging storms, dodging wind, and it's just been a chore. So we got to get this thing under cover and we haven't had the space for it. So we got the shop where it's good enough. So we're going to do that. So right now, um, I'm going to take the seat belts out. I've got to kind of got them loosened up. These seat belts are just old style seat belts. And um, what we're probably gonna do on these is put shoulder belts on. So these are these are some pretty old stuff. I think we looked at it last time. And these are 1983. So they're going on 40 years old. Um, Davis Aircraft at the time, um, these are very good seat belts. Uh, they're almost like a uh, like an airliner seat belt um, for the time. Got our, got our bolt, got our bushing and all that stuff. Keep all that stuff together. And you can see aluminum, aluminum, uh, aluminum buckle and all that. So somebody spent some money back in the day, but these are old, so they're going, going to go in the dumpster. Okay. Okay, everything's loosened up. I've got a bolt I can't get out because this bracket is bent. So we'll have to work on that later. Get these put up, get everything bagged and tagged. Everything that we're taking out of this thing will be bagged and tagged so we know where it came from. This is pretty obvious, but anything else, we will make sure that it is identified. So that's there. Put that in the back there. Okay, uh, interior panels. I kind of have these. These are just kind of loose here. These are the two upper panels. I don't know what's going on here. If these are loose or what, they are loose. Left hand kick panel. Another thing you'll notice on these, which Cessna did, is they ended up having a heater duct. So your heat comes from the forward firewall area comes in here it's a heat duct goes halfway down and then there's another one under here that comes out and it shoots out the door jam so this comes down to your it'll warm up your passengers feet and that's about it so we're going to take these get rid of those those will get upholstered these will uh, get new ones let's see if this one's loose da -da -da -da. and there's a trim strip which is and I would assume based on this fabric the sparkles in it and all that that this fabric is the original stuff very hip looks like a 1961 Chevrolet but um, 16 thousandth aluminum real thin so we'll uh, these can probably be cleaned up and reupholstered we'll see how that goes and there's a mud dauber nest so we'll get rid of that Okay, get those out. Then we're going to take the, um, we'll take the ashtrays out and the side, we'll get these rear side panels out. Take that out. If you ever wonder what the screws for on the side of an older 172 or a Cessna 170, the upper two are for the ashtray. And the lower two are for 
the um, armrest. Now, I've had a lot of folks wondering where you can get these because most of the time these are all rusted out. Um, this is an insert. This is the actual insert. You can take it out, clean it. Most of the time this is full of cigarette butts. Crap. Rust. Cigarette butts, bubble gum, things like that. Um, I always thought it was funny. These are the rear ashtrays. These are the front ashtrays. Let's see what surprises. Those there. We'll be leaving ashtrays out of the aircraft altogether, but I always got a kick out of it. There's four ashtrays in this thing. There's another one over there we'll take out in a second. Um, but if you have four folks smoking cigars in here, it would be very blue. There's more mud daubers. So, always wondering, what would it look like? What would this thing look like with four people in here smoking cigars? Um, in fact, if you go in the parts manual, you'll see that it's a cigar lighter, not a cigarette lighter, which I always got a kick out of. So we'll get these off. Okay, so airstrays off, armrest out. And that's how you get the, that's how you get the, a lot of times um, folks will have to take the armrest out to get the seat out. But um, what we'll probably do on this is we will fill the, ashtray rivet or ashtray screw holes with rivets that kind of retains the panel so that's it when you peel this apart this has been reupholstered with crap upholstery um, if you peel this thing apart And this is this looks like it was a poor automotive job. Ow! It's got little sharp things on it to hold the fabric on. Which is typical Cessna. But when you look at the actual armrest itself, you get it totally naked. Let me get rid of the old foam that's nothing more than a light framework of looks like 032 aluminum that's it that's your whole deal looks like somebody put their foot on it bent it we'll get this straightened up fix it and then reupholster it so that's all your armrest is very lightweight again these things have to fly so that's why this stuff is lightweight so we'll put that, that gets bagged, this gets thrown out. We'll get these out of here. They'll go back where we got them. Okay, now let's see if this panel will come out. That's it. That's all that holds the panel in. And again, another piece of uh, 16 or uh, 20 thousandths aluminum. And you can see this thing has got a real bodge job of upholstery on it. So this is coming off. Thank goodness, I don't believe this airplane ever flew with this upholstery. It was crap work. So that's what it looks like. And this was really good. There's no fiberglass in here. I'm pretty pleased. Um, there's no corrosion. This thing looks real good. ELT bracket in the back. We'll put probably a new style ELT in there, a 406 ELT. That's our goal on that. So over to the other side. Let's do that. pain on this thing is terrible. Off, airstray, and armrest coming off. Come on. Okay, all these screws will be replaced with all new stuff. Okay, everything's clear here. Okay, pull them out. Hey, hey, came right out. Yay! 
you can see here there's some clips in the back they hold it in so that's pretty good uh all this paint here is trim paint it's original cessna trim paint that's the interior tan that's kind of cool looking um and then these are the covers for the control cables we'll take those out at a later date we will also be putting new windows in make that beautiful so all this will come out you can see cessna painted all this with trim before they put those on so that was all painted and then they covered this thing up okay good so that's good Interior, I'm very, I am very pleased with this interior. When you look at it, in fact, we'll get you a little bit of a close-up. When you look at it, the interior is in very good shape. The metal is very good. It's kind of dirty, but we'll get it cleaned up. But you can see all here, this looks beautiful. This is actually an asphaltum that they sprayed on for sound deadening. Um, we have had problems with other aircraft, depending on where they live. Uh, if you had corrosion on the aircraft, anywhere sometimes you get corrosion under here this aircraft looks pretty good we'll probably just leave this uh, if we can wipe it off we will but they just took a big four inch brush and smeared that stuff on for sound deadening so you'll see that here you'll see that on the other side of the aircraft and then you'll also see it up on the roof here so you can see that that's pretty terrible but uh it's sound deadening but with headsets we probably shouldn't need that at all Okay, onto the instrument panel. Okay, everything is pretty clean here. This is going to be kind of a short one today. This is an old ADF. This is a Narco ADF-29. Uh, I'm kind of old and I've never seen one of these. So that's kind of cool. Knobs still work. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom. It's off. Okay, off. Test. Oh, test function still works. ADF, AVC, MVC, and off. Tune, tune still works, kind of cool. And that one doesn't work. But that'll go on the shelf, that's just a boat anchor. This is an old Bendix, what the heck is this? TR-6041B um, transponder, that'll go in the dumpster. So our plan here will probably be a nice audio panel, a nice GPS navigator, uh, navcom, navigate, GPS, and then probably a second com. So we'll have plenty of room for this thing in a transponder. So I don't think we'll need any extra space um, on this aircraft here the uh, all these controls are stuck so we'll be putting all new controls in all new push-pull controls these are all stuck so they're rubbish we may end up changing the fuel gauges those are a lot of times the older mechanical gauges are just rubbish they're hard to keep up these things have been sleeping so long I doubt if they'll work if we can go with a couple of G5s or AVCs or something um, and again, uh, get that GoFundMe going. We're, we're trying, to, uh, trying to get this thing going, but we're going to go as far as we can. Uh, if we're lucky, we can get rid of the suction gauge and the vacuum pump and all that, try to get more weight out of the aircraft. So that's a thing there. We're going to also replace all of these fuses with uh, breakers. So what we may do is actually eliminate the glove box, put our breakers over there, probably do an overlay instrument panel and uh, whatnot, get that done. You can see this here, these were for options, uh, optional uh, push-pull controls and things of that nature. I'm not sure what that's all for, but that wasn't all styling. Uh, instrument panel here, tachometer. Now this is something else, Let's pull this out. I guess, I guess that's still hooked up. Um, if you can see here, You've got throttle over here on the left, carb heat down on the right, and then you've got mixture way down over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this area when we put the aircraft back together. We'll put the mixture here, carb heat will go to the left. We'll bring the throttle over here. So conventional setup. We'll get our fuses. These are more additional fuses. Nothing's marked here. We don't know what that is. That'll all come out. Microphone bracket. We'll take that out. If we need a microphone, we'll have one in the glove box or in the seat back so that we have an extra microphone. But short of that, this will come out. Another thing that really concerns me is the way they put this in. This is kind of a foul issue. You figure if you had some gloves on, you could foul this thing and it would be a real problem. So that comes out. Our comm, um, our headset and mic jacks are over here in the corners. That's not too bad. But I think what we may do is move those up to the panel so that, again, we get rid of these knee knockers. Anything that can catch catch you up. The way this aircraft was set up is you had 
your ignition switch here. Now there's nothing hooked up up in the engine compartment, but you didn't have a start position on this switch. So this is your starter over here. So what we'll do is we'll put a start position, we'll put a start position magneto switch in and get rid of this thing. So get rid of that, clean up this, put some breakers in, get all that set up. Fuel strainer, that'll stay. Primer will stay, be relocated. Lighter, probably get rid of that and put a USB port, a couple USB ports in and get rid of that all together. Don't need that. Uh, glove box may go away. Suction gauge, hopefully that'll go away. Radios, uh, we've got some radios right now. We'll talk about that possibly next time. Master switch on. We'll either keep these lights, these, or we may end up going with toggle switches and getting rid of the uh, old push-pull stuff. These are real hard to source and keep up, so I don't really want to be stuck somewhere waiting on an antique switch having the aircraft down. So we'll probably end up changing these switches out to normal conventional MS toggle switches. Parking brake, cabin heat, all these will be in the aircraft, but they may be moved a little bit. Um, and again, everything's stuck. So we're going to have to get all new push-pull controls for the parking brake, cabin heat, cabin air, carb heat, strainer, get all those, and throttle mixture stuck, carb heat, everything's stuck. So we're going to get all new push-pull controls for those and get that sorted out. The um, What else? Control wheels, actually, this, I think this is a plastic control wheel. That'll get, we'll get rid of that and make sure that we have metal, all metal control wheel. The instrument panel, we have the instrument panel. We've kind of fixed it up a little bit, but it's, um, it's kind of primitive, just your standard six pack. Here's the old, in the back here, there's a uh, old big dinosaur encoder for the transponder, and we'll end up putting a smaller, more modern unit in. Um, fuel selector and all that, that's okay. We'll get this bolted back where it's supposed to be and get that, where does that go? It goes about there. We'll just clean that up. That actually doesn't look too bad. The flap handle, we'll get that. We'll refinish that and get that cleaned up. Our trim is still spinning, that's good. Our pulleys are okay, so we'll probably lubricate those and get those going. Everything else looks pretty good. It doesn't look bad at all. I'm very, very pleased with this thing. I, like, like I said last time, this is kind of cool. Um, the brake pedals, or the brakes, we'll rebuild the master cylinders, and that's actually an easy thing to do. It's only about $10 worth of O-rings and all that. That's something you really should do if you have an older airplane. It's not that hard to do something you can do at an annual, so we're going to take those out. If we come across a set of later style pedals, we may put those in. Not a got to have. Um, that would be a nice to have. Other than that, we'll clean these up, put them back in, and we'll put a new firewall pad on. That's pretty gross, so we'll get that. But we're, gonna, we're not going to touch that until we start getting some of this stuff cleaned up, probably get some of the structural work done. So that's where we are with this compass. We're going to leave this here. We're going to leave it mounted. We're going to actually leave the center strip. That was a real popular mod is to get rid of the center strip for the um, for the windshield. And we're actually going to leave it. This looks like, what is this? That's a piece of trim. I know where that goes. It goes in the back. Or no, that goes up front here. That goes outside is where it goes. Um, you'll see a lot of aircraft this vintage where they'll have what they call a one-piece windshield. What that is, it's just a thicker windshield not one piece, they were all one piece, it's just thicker, and they got rid of or removed this heavy brace. It's a piece of aluminum that's bolted in. We're going to leave it in there because it's kind of period. It'll give it that vintage look, and it's working. So we'll just leave it in. It'll allow us to go with a little thinner windshield, which is lighter, so we're going to go for that. This windshield has been replaced, obviously. It's put in with screws and nuts. We're going to replace that and probably replace it with the rivets, put it, put it back together with the rivets. Because this is all going to be removed, we're going to get rid of all this fiberglass in here. All this stuff in here is coming out. Uh, we'll have access to all that, and we'll put a new windshield in. So that's our plan there. Glare shield, there's a, in this glare shield area, they had vinyl and a speaker here. So or air, that's actually for air cooling. We're going to remove that, probably put a fiberglass glare shield that comes out a little bit. Um, and get rid of all this crap here, so it'll clean it up quite a bit. So that's our plan there. Uh, what else? Visors. Uh, they're visors. They look okay. If we come up with something new, we'll put in some new ones, nice transparent ones, green ones, or something like that. Um, speaker. 
lights and all that we'll replace that as we need to if we have to put a speaker back in we'll put a speaker back in otherwise we'll leave it out just again more hassle more weight and nobody ever uses it so unless it's a regulatory requirement we'll leave it out so that's where we are oh hand holds these actually there's some folks that make some real nice uh they redo these reweb these so we'll get these rewebbed get them uh, set up and you really kind of need these on a Cessna you need these to pull your seat forward a lot of times so you'll do that seat tracks that's another thing we talked about that last time we will definitely be changing out the pilot seat track on this side this one actually looks pretty good we'll clean them up but um, we'll definitely change this one out we don't want to slide back the other thing we'll probably do is get the Cessna kit for the seat tracks uh, the inertia reel for the seat track so we'll probably get that also so that's where we are with this bird right now. It looks pretty good. We cleaned out this crap and all that. You can see this is kind of cool. Grease pencil marks from the uh, original factory. They're kind of all over this thing. They're on different pieces and all that. So it's kind of cool to see that. But that's where we are right now with the Foe Fighter. We've got the interior pretty well ready to go. Next time, the wings are coming off this thing and it's going inside the barn. So it's going to go even further deeper apart. But um, we're just doing a baby steps. We're not going crazy on this thing. So we're just going to do what we have to do. So that's where we are right now. Okay, so that's the update for this week. Everything's uh, looking pretty good. We're pretty pleased with it. It's not as bad as I thought. I really am very pleased about this. It's looking pretty good. We are going. Most importantly, like, share, subscribe, notify, all that stuff. That really helps out. We've got the GoFundMe. Um, if you got a couple bucks, this will really help this aircraft go. We've already been notified, notified, uh, contacted by some folks that are really wondering whether they can get uh, get this aircraft into their organization and all that. So, and we're not even we're not even close for that yet, but we're hoping to get there. And we're talking to different folks. If there's a product that you guys want to, you don't have to sponsor. If there's a product you want to showcase or something like that, let us know. Um, we'll be more than happy to spot it. If it's something that we can use in the aircraft make it a better aircraft that's cool but everything's going looking pretty good very pleased and um, this thing's going to start getting going so we'll catch you next time hangar rats out